Billionaire Elon Musk plans to soon present the final prototype of the aircraft which is expected to transport people to Mars. SpaceX was created by Musk with the long-term goal of turning humanity into a multi-planetary civilization. The ship that will be at the heart of this ambitious task is called Starship and will be able to carry up to 100 people on one course to the Red Planet. History can unfold in two main scenarios. One is to stay on Earth forever, but then, sooner or later, an event will occur that will lead to our extinction as a species. The alternative is to evolve into a cosmic civilization that can inhabit other planets. I think everyone would agree that the second option is preferable. Musk said this at a conference in Mexico in 2016. He often talks about his dream of building human colonies on Mars, but to be sustainable, they will have to be inhabited by a large number of people. In order for such a project to take place, humanity must have appropriate means of transportation. Starship is the combination of a launch vehicle and a spaceship created with the idea of being used repeatedly. This means that its main elements will not be burned or dumped into the ocean after each flight, but will be restored and reinstalled. This approach would also significantly reduce the cost of the project in the long run. What is Starship? The rocket part of the aircraft is called Super Heavy, and the main module of passengers and cargo is called Starship. The combined system is 120 meters high, or more than twice the height of the shuttles of the U.S. space agency NASA from the late 20th and early 21st century. With its stabilizing fins placed on the bow and hull, the gleaming gray spaceship is reminiscent of the golden years of science fiction. In the middle compartment are the fuel tanks. They supply the rear-mounted Raptor engines with liquefied methane and oxygen. Their volume is a total of 3,400 tons. The choice of fuel is unconventional for the rocket industry, but the advantage of methane is that it provides sufficient thrust and can be extracted on Mars by synthesizing carbon dioxide in its atmosphere through a chemical process known as the Sabatier reaction. It is already used on the International Space Station to produce water without relying on Earth's reserves. SpaceX has been developing Raptor engines for over a decade. They are highly efficient and combustion occurs in stages, thus drastically reducing the amount of lost fuel. Recharging Starship for the return trip from Mars to Earth will depend on the resources of the Red Planet, which will also reduce travel costs and make it more sustainable and efficient. The Super Heavy rocket is powered by 28 Raptor engines with a maximum thrust of 72 meganewtons. This will allow the launch of cargo with a mass of 100 to 150 tons. By comparison, NASA shuttles had a payload of about 30 tons. The Super Heavy will be more powerful than the Saturn V rocket used to launch the Apollo mission to the moon in the 1960s and 1970s. What will the Starship flight look like? As it takes off from the launch pad, Starship will gradually begin to tilt, reaching the desired orbit. When the upper part of the spacecraft passes over the atmosphere and separates, the Super Heavy rocket will land safely on the ground with the help of stabilizing wings and will then be able to be used again. Elon Musk's original idea was to make the landing with the help of six metal legs, similar to the Falcon 9 missiles, but he later admitted that he changed this approach. For now, the landing missile is expected to be intercepted by a special hand installed on the launch pad tower. It remains to be seen exactly how this catching mechanism will work. Meanwhile, the upper part of Starship will be able to remain parked in orbit around the Earth, where it can be refueled with a new portion of fuel for its journey to Mars. If you just go into orbit without refueling, you have 150 tons of payload orbit. If you load the tanks up, those 150 tons can reach Mars, Musk said. Recharging will be done by docking the module with another Starship that is already in orbit. It will simply serve as a gas station. The docking will take place in the rear with the same mechanism that is used to mount the rocket. What can Starship be used for? For the trip to Mars, which can take up to nine months in one direction, 40 passenger cabins are provided near the cargo compartment in front of the aircraft. 
In theory, each of them will be able to accommodate five to six people if the goal is to transport the maximum number of people. But probably under normal circumstances, they will be inhabited by two or three people. This means about 100 people on each flight to Mars, said the billionaire. In the cargo compartment, there is a space for a common kitchen as well as a shelter for protection from harmful solar flares. Starship can also play an important role in NASA's Artemis program. Its purpose is to organize a permanent human presence on the moon. In 2020, SpaceX received $134 million from NASA specifically to upgrade the Starship so that it would be suitable for use as a manned spacecraft for landing on the moon. The version developed for Artemis will not be equipped with the protective temperature shield and stabilizing wings needed to return to Earth. The module will only be used to transport people from Earth's orbit to the moon's surface. The cargo version of Starship will have a compartment that opens like a crocodile's mouth and will allow the sending of satellites. The huge capacity of the aircraft will open new possibilities for space exploration, including the launch into orbit of a telescope that will be larger than the James Webb Observatory. The system can be used for a fast connection between distant points on Earth. According to Musk, in the future, Starship will be able to be used to transport people to more distant destinations in the solar system, such as the gas giant Jupiter. But this is a goal in a much longer time horizon. How will the return to Earth take place? Until now, engineers have relied mainly on parachutes to return manned space missions or aircraft that can land at airports, such as shuttles. However, Starship takes a different approach. In the first stage of landing, the SpaceX spacecraft will enter the atmosphere at an angle of about 60 degrees, after which it will turn in a horizontal position. The goal is for the speed deceleration to occur entirely with the help of air resistance. The disadvantage is that in this situation the aircraft will be unstable. The problem is solved by installing four steel stabilizing wings, positioned in pairs in the front and rear of the hull. Their job is to stabilize the module in the same way that aerial acrobats stabilize their body in flight with the help of their arms and legs. This is something that has not been done so far. We will make a controlled landing. We will try to create resistance. That is something that is the exact opposite of aircraft. Musk explained during a press conference in 2019 of the progress of Starship, as you approach the Earth, the speed should slow down enough to allow the spacecraft to stand up in a vertical position. In the final stage, the Raptor engines will create reverse thrust, with which Starship will land safely on the surface. According to Musk, this mechanism can be used on any landing site, regardless of which planet it is located on. This includes Mars. When will Starship take off? Over the past few years, SpaceX has been testing different versions of its prototypes at a test site in Boca Chica, Texas. The SN8, or Starship No. 8 prototype, was launched in December last year, the first to have stabilizing fins and a conical nose. After reaching an altitude of 12.5 kilometers, the SN8 was able to return to a horizontal position close to Earth, providing valuable information about the final part of the future landing of Starship. In this case, it became almost textbook, but at the last moment the device approached the launch site too quickly and sharply, which led to its crash. However, the next version, SN9, is now ready for launch and this time the SpaceX team is determined to complete the landing successfully. In October 2020, Elon Musk said that the first non-manned flight to Mars could take place in 2024. According to some observers, the deadline set by the eccentric billionaire seems a bit optimistic. But at the same time, he has the reputation of a man who achieves his goals, no matter how ambitious. 